hi friends welcome to my channel so uh, this video is uh, a next part of uh, uh, upgrade process so I, I i have covered already uh, discovery phase of uh, splunk upgrade where we have discovered our existing environment with where uh, which all components are there how many nodes are there and uh, add-ons and so on and uh, compatibility between the uh, component like indexer, search head, masters, uh, heavy forwarders. So we have talked in detail about uh, those things. So uh, this will be a very short video where I'm going to explain you about uh, the premium app upgrade. So this is also a part of a discovery phase where we are going to uh, check uh, of our premium application uh, compatibility with the uh, the target core Splunk version. So uh, for that again I have in previous video I have explained you about the uh, matrix uh, where we, we can check our existing version compatibility of any app to uh, the core Splunk version. So you need to find out from there you please uh, check my previous video and come back with your details like which uh, uh, which version of app uh, premium application is compatible with which version of core Splunk so that is very crucial uh, things because because uh, if you do not do that uh, in in Splunk environment there are a very very critical apps uh, premium apps will be running uh, premium apps are running in in the system and if you know you do not do it carefully so th those apps can uh, can be broken so there can be a security app like enterprise security there can be can be a itsi there can be any other uh, apps will be there so uh, for this video i am i am concentrating on enterprise security and enterprise uh, splunk itsi so also uh, whenever you are doing the upgrade just be uh, very careful uh, because maybe uh, you know the uh, th there can be a different search head cluster can be there so different search head cluster uh, in case uh, like you have security and and uh, operation uh, and and you are just considering uh, security part of it May, maybe you are hired for the security uh, security side of your uh, your company but you need to uh, take care that whether any itsi or any operations team is there who who runs a separate uh, uh, a separate cluster for uh, operations like it, they have uh, they can can have uh, itsi installed and once you upgrade everything and then after that you will come to know that oh itsi is com not compatible with uh, the core splunk version so that things you need to keep in mind and you need to in discovery phase you need to uh, identify your overall uh, splunk architecture so the discovery initial video just uh, as i mentioned earlier please check the initial video discover your whole environment and then jump on uh, jump on to the uh, upgrading splunk uh, premium application so uh, when you are going to do a splunk es enterprise security app so if you suppose in case uh, you are going to upgrade 4.x to uh, 5.x so there there can be config changes like uh, as i remember in uh, 4.x uh, the correlation searches are stored in correlation search.conf but when you go to higher version the searches will be stored in save search.conf so when you are doing uh, and during the upgrade uh, those movement will not happen uh, automatically you need to back up that correlation search.conf and copy one one by m or the searches to save save searches.conf with respect to enterprise security 5.x version if you have 4.x version in place 
also you need to keep uh, like i will write down here uh, searches one file dot com files then the second thing you uh, you need to consider is uh, kv store because the kv store is is also very very crucial thing kv store you need to uh, uh, do automatic backup for kv store not automatic backup you need to uh, during the uh, when you do the upgrade so what you have to do you need to backup your kv store uh, because uh, in enterprise security kv store plays a major major role where uh, uh, notables and all other so uh, all other things not the searches searches will be stored in dot com uh, file but the calculations of uh, other things will be stored in kv store so please uh, take the backup of kv store and if needed it that has to be upgraded so that is one of the thing and also when you do upgrade a uh, cluster upgrade there can be a uh, kv store synchronization issue you will uh, you will find uh, so for that you need to clean up the kv store wherever uh, it has but be very careful take a proper backup don't do all uh, the clean up on uh, for all the clean up should be locally and also uh, or if you have any any doubt don't uh, run the, those command without uh, researching so if you have any doubt please raise a support case uh, before cleaning up cleaning up the kv store so those are little little things but it can impact more on your system so once you find find your target and destination uh, uh, upgrade there can be a possibility you need to you cannot jump from Uh, X version of uh, uh, premium application to Y, you uh, to Z. You need to go through X to Y to Z. So that thing also you need to consider. Now, when you come to similar to ITSI, it's again a premium application. So uh, you need to go to through the release notes of each and every every premium application and uh, discover your environment. take a note what all things you need you need to uh, do uh, like say as a ex- earlier mentioned if you need to take a backup of uh, like anything you need to backup of services in itsi you need to backup of entity or you need to backup full itsi system so that has to be done uh, be very uh, careful so those are the things about the uh, premium application i think we have spent a lot of time uh, in uh, discovery phase hope you have have understood the discovery phase uh, so i guess you can add your own flavor to to it it's just a basic basic things i have mentioned starting from knowing your environment till the premium application uh, discovery phase so yeah uh, that